What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a character in the Boondocks form. This character is going to be more African American based and it's a very simple kind of anime-ish, but it's a little bit different in the eyes. But let's jump into the video. So the first thing you should always start off with is sketching your image. Do not be afraid to use all the tools at your disposal. For example, I use the ellipse tool as a crutch to aid myself with the jawline. As your image is coming together, keep rough sketching out other parts of the head, AIE, the neck, and maybe start on some clothing. Now my character, I decided to give him dreadlocks and a headband to cover up that hairline. Now I want to remind you that I am not aiming for realism at all, but let's jump back into it. I decided to add some flair to my character such as the band-aid as you see, just to give him like a more rough look before I started adding his other facial features such as his eyes and eyebrows. Now adding little details on your character such as band-aids and things really does add its own special flair. You don't have to, you can add whatever you want. You can put a tattoo right there or you could just leave it blank and just be, let it be plain. But you can add so many things and make your character stand out. And I think the band-aid shows that. My character's a little rough, he's not afraid to scrap. And um, yeah, but just keep on plugging away and keep on adding the details before you start doing anything. And for my character, I decided to make the dreadlocks like if you ever played a game called Overwatch, there's a character named Lucio. He has these uh, very rounded off style dreads. And so I was trying to make my character's dreadlocks look kind of like his, but in a shortened version since his are like super long. And yeah, just kind of. You know remind you of maybe the Pokemon Tangela in a way yeah <laughs> actually that's a very good description like if I ever if I decide to put his hair and make it be blue then yeah it'd be really cool looking and just keep on experimenting uh, you can make the dreadlocks look like snakes and like I said earlier I used the headband just to cover up part of his forehead just because uh, I'm not sure if you ever seen like the base of dreadlocks they look very different um, they're that's something that's really easy to draw just because of how they start off on the base of your scalp and so that's why I use the headband to cover that up kind of in a way just to make it a little easier for myself and yeah that's pretty much the outline or the rough sketch of my whole entire character and outlining is very simple if you don't know how to create the perfect brush then you can watch right here I'm doing it as we speak it's very simple very easy um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to make the perfect brush for your stylus your pen then let me know I can make a quick little one minute video on how to do that but then just uh, start outlining your character like I'm doing here and then that's pretty much it you know this character reminds me of that I'm creating this character reminds me of like an older auto from rocket power maybe a little bit wastelandish like nuclear bomb went off and he's just left out in the wilds with this hoverboard and stuff you know trying to survive and things that's what you remind, kind of reminds me of um, but yeah, hopefully you guys liked this video in the way how I tried depicting an African-American person in a cartoon form. You usually don't see that in a lot of people's drawings or illustrations of like in a cartoon form. Not realism, but more cartoony. Uh, because it's really hard to properly depict African-American people in a cartoon anime-esque style form. Like... Um, Besides the Boondocks, which is probably the godfather of depicting African American people properly, um, it's just not easy to draw African American people. Um, it's a lot of fun because uh, there's a lot of style and a lot of things you can do with the character, and you can definitely color them in in a whole different variety and range of ways, and it's just a lot of fun. But um, I'm gonna let the video play by itself here with some music in the back, like I usually do. You know me, but it's your boy Diamonds here at comment sense graphics hope you guys enjoyed rate comment subscribe if you guys want to see some more type of things like this uh, maybe some more characters with some dreadlocks maybe, maybe i can switch this character up make him look like tangela of some sort get like a mismatch type of thing or do some serious rocket power auto throw some shades on this dude you know what i'm saying but uh yeah i'll let the video play as i finalize it if you guys like the finalization of the video as i color them in put stop a like in that like subscribe you know but it's your boy diamonds here out
Thank you.